Do you want to easily farm the most expensive things in Stardew Valley? Good, because the last thing on this list is going to absolutely blow your mind. With the right professions, you can actually make a ton of money by selling metal bars in this game. Back in the day, people would turn their excess iridium ore into iridium bars and sell them for 1,500 gold each. This was always highly effective, but now we have something so much better. Now we have radioactive ore, a new type of ore that has almost no uses. An ore that we can easily farm for and most importantly, an ore that turns into a bar that sells for 4,500 gold. Old. It's simple, complete the danger in the deep quest so that you have access to the dangerous version of the regular mines. Then wait for the best luck day, get yourself two lucky rings and eat any luck boosting foods that you may have. Now just enter the first floor in the dangerous mines, grab the radioactive ore, leave the mines and do it all over again. I managed to farm more than 300 radioactive ore in a single day using this method. Turn those ores into bars and sell them at 4500 gold each. While Radioactive oil sells for a lot, the next thing on this list sells for even more. I am sure you have heard of the ultra rare treasure chest, an item that is so rare you might only see one of these in your entire playthrough. However, you can easily farm for these and make a killing. Each treasure chest sells for a massive 5000 gold. You'll get your first treasure chest for free by hoeing this spot right here after finding secret note number 16. However, you can get many more than just that one. First, get yourself a burglar ring. This is important possible without it. Then complete the danger in the deep quest so you have access to the dangerous version of the regular mines. Then use some monster mask and enter floor 30 in the dangerous version of the mines. In here you will find ghosts, but not just any ghost, Harbin ghosts. A ghost that has a 99% chance of dropping an Omni Geode. With the burglar ring you will often get 2 Omni Geodes per ghost that you defeat. Spend hours here, defeat as many ghosts as you can and collect those sweet Omni Geodes. Now what do you do with these things? Well, you head over to the desert trader and trade them in for artifact troves. Each artifact trove will only cost 5 Omni Geodes, so you can get a ton of these really easily using this method. These are great if you are missing something for Gunther's collection, but they also have a 4% chance to drop a treasure chest when opening them up at Clint. 4% is not very high, but it's the highest possible chances that we can get, and since we can easily farm for artifact troves, you can actually get a ton of treasure chest and most importantly profit. 5000 gold per treasure chest is amazing but the next method will make you more money and is even more reliable. Sweet Gem Berries Yes, you heard me correctly. The crop that most people think is not worth your time. However, there is a way to make Sweet Gem Berries highly profitable. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it. Iridium Sweet Gem Berries sell for 6,000 gold each. The first step is to visit the traveling merchant every Friday and Sunday and buy any rare seed that she has for sale. The more seeds you have, the faster this whole process will be. Now split your Ginger Island farm into two halves. The one half is exclusively used for seed production. This means that you will be using hyper speed grow on this side of the farm. Paired with the agriculturist profession and your sweet gem berries will grow 43% faster. When they have fully grown and are ready for harvesting, drop all of your regular quality and your silver quality sweet gem berries into seed makers. On average, you should double your rare seeds whenever you do this. Now for the profit side of your farm. On this side, use deluxe fertilizer instead of hyper speed grow. For some reason, we cannot process sweet gem berries so we need to rely on harvesting high quality crops to make money here. These will take longer to grow but that's fine because the profits will speak for themselves. When they have finally fully matured, cook up a farmer's lunch with key seasoning. This meal will make you level 14 farming. This will then cause you to mostly harvest iridium quality crops and the lowest quality that you can harvest is gold quality. It's incredible, look at how much money I made off of a single harvest. While this method is high highly profitable, the next one is infinitely easier. Do you want to literally swim in money? Well then you should be using iridium quality starfruit wine. Each serving sells for 6,300 gold and you can get hundreds of the stuff incredibly easily. Start off by buying some starfruit seeds from Sandy at the desert oasis and then plant them. Plant them in both your greenhouse and your ginger island farm all year long or plant them on your farm during summer. These do take 13 long days to fully mature so use speed grow to make even more money faster. Once they are ready for harvest 
harvesting immediately drop them into kegs to produce wine. This takes 7 days and cannot be sped up. Selling the wine as is, is highly profitable. But you can make so much more if you age them by dropping that weak wine into a cask. You can only place casks inside of your basement. To maximize the amount of wine that you can age, fill up the entire basement like this. After 56 long days, your wine will be fully aged at iridium quality. Harvesting a basement like this is quite annoying, so use an upgraded hoe to harvest the wine like this instead. It's much faster and much less inconvenient. Having only one basement is a major blocker, so always build three cabins and fully upgrade them using a controller in split screen. Now you have four basements that you can fully utilize to become rich. While the next item sells for much more than Starford wine, it is not nearly as easy to obtain. Slime eggs, more specifically tiger slime eggs. Each of these will sell for a very impressive 8000 gold. This is one of the most expensive items that you can sell in this game. To get slime eggs you will first need to build a slime hutch. While it is possible to randomly get a slime egg in the treasure chest in the skull cavern, you can only get slime eggs from defeating slimes once you have built a slime hutch. Each slime has a very low 1% chance of dropping an egg. Always wear a burglar ring to help those low odds. These tiger slimes over here will respawn every single day and are really close to your farm. Clear them every day to help chances of finding a tiger slime egg. Otherwise you can also find tiger slimes in the volcano. Additionally you can fill fish ponds with lionfish. Every single day will have a 2% chance of producing a tiger slime egg. 2% is surprisingly high but the truth of the matter is that relying on tiger slime eggs for gold is not realistic. But the next method is highly profitable and extremely reliable. The Legend, one of the hardest fish to catch in this entire game. A fish that can sell for a massive 15,000 gold. The only problem is that you can only catch this fish once per playthrough. Well not anymore with the help of the latest 1.5 update. We now have access to a key quest called the Extended Family Quest. That's right, this quest will allow us to catch a legendary fish again for 3 days, no matter the season. However, you can catch the same legendary fish again and again and as many times as you can can during those three days. So if you buff up your fishing rod, get some seafoam pudding and spend three entire days catching the legend, you can make a literal fortune. Since you will be at such a high fishing level, you will only catch gold and iridium quality legends, causing you to literally print money. After three days of non-stop fishing, I made more than 170,000 gold and you can do this every time Mr. Key has the extended quest available. Now you know how to easily grind for the highest value items in the game but this video will show you which rings will make all of this so much easier subscribe for more stardew valley videos but for now i will see you in the next video